Okay, cool. We've started recording. So, boys, this is not going to be your usual podcast. We're going to go one by one to the tier list. So, basically, hmm. champions, Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League, higher mid table, lower mid table, relegation. So, let me go for relegation first because I don't want to like give away this. There's Ipswich. There's there's Bournemouth, who I think are not going to do that well. Again, I'm going to go straight up to Ipswich Town because I don't think they stay up. I think again the competition's too good and we've seen that newly promoted clubs don't do that well and I think Leicester is not really a championship club so they'll get together they'll get their act together they have a good core team so they probably might survive and finally this is hard I think Bournemouth is still okay actually yeah this okay so I'm going to go with Nottingham Forest uh, they have a very average manager I forgot the guy's name dude Nuno Santos Espirito no, no. and three more no, no. votes <laughs> Yes, so Nuno, <laughs> Nuno is not. Uh, <laughs> Nuno is not really it. I think I don't think their team uh, is is that well. Mainly these three because the rest are too good. Not too good, but like the, the rest are enough to stay up. Do I agree not? on Nottingham Forest. I think they are quite. They just somehow scraped last season to not get relegated. Ipswich, I will hold my views on that for a bit. Uh, Why? Everton, because that manager was linked with you guys. <laughs> yes, bro. Of course. Okay. Of course, bro. Okay. He's the okay. future manager. Um, all right, let's go to the the most boring part of the shit. Lower to mid table. I mean, straight up, I'm gonna put Bournemouth there. They're not flying high at all, like yeah. last season. I think Wolves would go there. That that is an easy thing for mm-hmm. me. Southampton definitely go there. I don't know. I like the look of Fulham this season. It's just because they have my boy now. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put Brighton here. Who's the new don't manager really in think. Brighton? They Fabian, got a very like Fabian unknown Orsula, German guy. And he's 31, three years older than me. I don't is know. What, ger- that is insane. Yeah, he's a 31 year old German kid, just older than mm-hmm. Animesh, <laughs> born in Houston. I'm feeling so, bad about myself, you know, when you say that. <laughs> Bro, I'm right there with you. What do I? You know, the players they've sold and uh, the, the shift in legacy, and now that Nihal's told me that the Texan dude is coming here, it's, just, it's not sounding that great. <laughs> So they probably like they they're probably on the edge of 13 12 11 something like that or even 10 is like decent for them. I think one more, right? Hmm. Stop, History man. of West Ham. You think History of West Ham? Despite I think all the West spending. Ham West Ham finished like in and around. This is a very tough part to predict because you know these teams are <laughs> yeah. so Yeah. Yeah, fluid. You can. They can be anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm only are, skeptical. I don't I'm, want to put I'm, West Ham there I'm, because right. West Ham spent so much money. West Ham spent so yeah. much money on that. Yeah. Julian Lopetegui. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, you're right. West Ham, even though I don't think they're going to have a great season, but then again, managers matter. Uh, Lopetegui is good. They they spend money. They have players who didn't perform last year, who are going to probably perform this year. So that's why, okay. So that way, I think Leicester should be a good option here. So straight up, I think West Ham and Fulham and Crystal Palace go here for me. And Brentford as well. Basically, now is the hard part. Now, out of these eight boys who are, who are like the, basically, I would say the top eight teams, one has to come here. You have to put one more in higher mid, no? I have to put yeah. one more in higher mid, exactly. That's what. Yeah. So I'm basically... Yeah. Yeah. Betting on no shockers here. I mean, I don't think Chelsea will finish there, but it'd be hilarious to if they finish in that bracket again. I feel like it's the third season running. If they finish in that 8 12 realm, they'll just. I think Todd Burley will but cover Chelsea his losses. Chelsea finished 6th, bro, last, last okay. time. I put Newcastle there. I'm going to go for Chelsea finishing 7th. I'm going to go for. United and Tottenham finishing 6th. I'm going to go for Aston Villa finishing 4th. Liverpool finishing 2nd. City finishing 3rd. Number 14. Of course. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm happy with this. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And this is going to be me for the rest of the season. This makes me happy too. Like this doesn't make me sad also. Which is the best part. I think I think that's uh, the operator's that's the the principle behind your like, <laughs> ranking. That is the problem. This, <laughs> your, your prediction. this, is, this is what you want to see. Uh, yeah, and this is... I mean, what I want to see is what's going to happen this season. This is the season of me, bro. I think for me, the relegation would be nailed on our Southampton and Nottingham Forest. Southampton because I think they are a flip-flop club. Just like how Newcastle was a few years ago before the takeover. So they'll go straight down. And Forest because they're Forest. I think I don't think they have the players. I think coach is kind of weird. They just don't have the quality to sustain the, another Premier League season. The third one, hate to say it, but uh, I think we're going to bid a goodbye to uh, Thomas Frank. 
I think Brentford is going to get really good at this season. Spicy. Uh, okay. Reason being, reason being, they probably are going to sell so Tony, and they. Where is he going? I mean, no one wants him, bro. I think Chelsea might take him in the end, <laughs> or he'll go somewhere. <laughs> Like whoever, whoever, Nobody's whoever. Think, Chelsea will buy. Chelsea will come sure. in. Yeah, Chelsea will come in. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think Tony is going to be a mess. The striker that who they bought for as Tony's replacement, he got a long-term injury, so they don't have much money to spend. Plus, they don't have any striking solutions. And without Tony last season, they were struggling. So I think it's going to be a hard goodbye for Thomas Frank this season. Right, the okay. tier above, it's going to be Ipswich, Wolves, Brighton, Bournemouth, and Leicester. Any okay, particular Leicester order? Being, oh, no, not really. I mean, if okay. you want to, I can give you. I think. I think Brighton and Leicester, Brighton and Ipswich are going to fight for relegation, and then Leicester, Bournemouth, and Wolves somewhere in the middle. Actually, Wolves are going to be in the relegation battle too. Uh, okay. Leicester and Bournemouth will be fine. Okay. Uh, so simple reason being Leicester being they have some history. They have the Premier League winners, recent Premier League winners, except they for don't have Chelsea. Any City, recent yeah. pre- Premier League winners at all? I mean, they won. That's fine. But like sometimes the fact that you've won a Premier League recently is is the difference maker. Bournemouth, I trust Ariola a little bit. I think he'll be fine. Brighton, zero faith in the manager. No idea who he is. Kid from Texas, so maybe Nihal is his best friend. <laughs> Can go and talk to him and see what his principles are. And McKenna, I always am sus about uh, possession man, possession based managers trying to make it or hack it in the Premier League with this exact same system. Regard like you know, Vincent Company last season. So I think it gives me a similar vibes. But I think he'll survive. Or eight to twelve. Newcastle, Newcastle, followed by actually Newcastle West Ham, 12th? followed by Newcastle. No, 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 West Ham. So from top to bottom. So New- okay. West Ham eighth, Newcastle ninth, Everton tenth, Fulham, and then Crystal Palace. I think West Ham are going to be the team this season who are going to break into top eight. If I I do have them slated for some glory, we'll get to that later. But Newcastle, I I just feel like they can do some things, but I also feel like Eddie Howe might just get pulled into an England job, and that's what will lead to a dip in form, which will lead to you know. That's an interesting, like uh, interesting observation. Everton, I feel like criminally underrated. I think Sean Dyke, even after the nine point deduction or whatever they have, they finished relatively in the midfield, and I think theirs is the only last remaining uh, you know traditional player style of play, like hoof ball. Just. Give ping it to the forward and try to score with a solid defense. So they might I, present some yeah. challenges for all the other possession-based teams, That's which can go the other way. You can me, make an alternative argument. For me, it's exactly the opposite. I think that this is the yeah, season yeah. that hoof ball gets over. It's finished. Yeah, fair enough. Totally fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Come up, come up. Conference. Let's see. I think uh, Aston Villa is for the conference. Eighth, <laughs> seventh, seventh. Downgrade कर रहा है उनको. Uh, नहीं bro. I genuinely feel like with an okay, expanded okay. Champions League yeah, with you... so many fixtures, it's very mm-hmm. difficult for them to sustain the Champions League pressures. Just because of the quality of the teams that you come against, it's it's very difficult. Fun. Europa, I have Spurs and Chelsea. So oh, yeah, I hate Chelsea. you guys, but I don't hate you that much. And then uh, let's go. I'm gonna have City to five beat, and then the rest are. Same. Give me the, yeah, give me the, the, the order here. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck that. Fuck that. Arsenal, Arsenal at the top. City, Liverpool, United. Basically, Actually, United, Liverpool. United, United, Liverpool. Liverpool. Wow. Yeah. Third. Uh, yeah. I'm banking mm. on Liverpool. So Liverpool, I am confident that they'll finish fourth because of the fact that they are retaining their four main players: mm-hmm. Allison, Trent, Van Dijk, and Salah. <clears throat> so I think. That core four players plus like you know whatever additions they make in midfield, which they will, I think they'll be fine. And uh, and uh, United, like what's your reason for that? Being third, I think I think Ten Hag. I have zero faith in Ten Hag, but I feel like the support staff, given the fact that a lot of the duties are taken away from him, so mm-hmm. he can so he can implement one style of play brilliant, brilliantly, which is what he's trying to do right now. And I feel like if. They slack behind. They have people like Ruud Nistelrooy and the other guy that you got as assistant manager to you know pull him through the tough phases. It's me, me time. Uh, for relegation, I have Southampton as a sure shot for relegation. Come on, guys. I have Bournemouth and Wolves in there because I am just sick and tired of like Wolves playing in the Premier League. So just for that factor, I just want them to out. And also like uh, I want, I want to see what Ipswich do. Because last last season, like a uh, Luton was really fun, and I hope that you know this newly promoted team stay like a little bit longer because they they seem to play expansive football. So let's see what what happens in the lower mid table. I have Ipswich, Brentford, Everton, Leicester, and fucking Nottingham Forest might just again survive this time. There'll be one of those clubs that like last minute, last day, they'll just stay up at the expense of like 
probably wolves or someone and higher mid table i have brighton i have crystal palace i have newcastle and i have mm-hmm. west ham and aston villa i think wow, aston villa wow. will be fine wow. for europa i have chelsea locked in for one of the spots and i want to say liverpool because i'm literally not hearing anything about them too like i don't know what the fuck is happening with liverpool so uh, i don't know what they do i not even i don't even know if they have a pre season or not also it's that it's weird i'm not even hearing anything about liverpool i'm going to put them in europa just mm-hmm. because i don't know anything about them at this point in the champions league spots i have city i mm. have united mm. and i have arsenal <laughs> I think the joke's not Arsenal. The joke's on don't you, bro. You're wanting Spurs to win. <laughs> okay, bro. The final then. Let's do this. <laughs> no. It's done. Uh, it's done. Switch, switch City up because I think City will finish first and Spurs might finish in the top four this year. I... I don't know. I have fourth, a strange yeah. feeling. So for um, you, I think yeah. the big, big, big one is Spurs coming fourth, Liverpool coming sixth, or Liverpool fifth and Chelsea fifth, sixth. Fifth, <laughs> Liverpool fifth. Fifth, che- sixth. okay, okay. Liverpool fifth, is missing yeah. out on top four. Spurs making it. All right, Sid, let's go. Yeah. All right. Ah. Uh, Okay, relegation. I would pick Nottingham Forest for sure. Mm. They are they just hung on last time. I think they're going to go down. Uh, I'll also pick Southampton and Bournemouth. I think they're going to have a tough season this time. Bournemouth. Okay. But I, I'm pretty sure Nottingham Forest are going to be last. So yeah, I'll be in that order. Too. Yeah, I'm I'm there. <laughs> Uh, okay, Ipswich. I was gonna put yeah, uh, Brentford and Wolves. Okay. I think uh, yeah, I- Ipswich probably like somewhere around fourteenth. 13th, 14th types, I'm guessing. Because I feel like they might have a breakout season. They'll be like what Luton couldn't do well last time. Because they kind of played well a lot of games, but they could not really get the points. I feel like Ipswich, Ipswich can do that. Yeah, that could be like one thing I'm betting on. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Leicester, Brighton, Brentford, Wolves. Higher mid. Hmm. Okay. Newcastle, 8th. West Ham, 9th. Mm-hmm. Then Fulham. Then Palace. Then Everton. Uh, conference League Chelsea I think they deserve to be in Conference League they deserve to play all games of no consequences (laughs) (laughs) no bro they have the squad they should play like like new team every game I feel uh, Liverpool are gonna slump this year cause Arne Slot I don't know what he's doing they have no transfers in He's, a, yes, he's they the have best, their... best Dutch manager in the league. Sure, Pep is the best Spanish manager in the league. So. Mm, true, <laughs> that is true. Yeah, so I'll pick uh, Tottenham 5th, Liverpool 6th. So now top 4 is there. You can see. All this Liverpool um, hate is coming out from United boys. I just feel they won't do well, bro. Like they, okay. they tapered off last season with Klopp. And without Klopp, I think Arnestad will take some time to get going. And it'll be too late by then. Uh, Champion City. Arsenal. Look at his smile. Look at his smile. Like, I, I hate it, true city fan. I, I true hate city to fan. say it, bro. True Champion city, city fan. Arsenal second, Aston Villa third, United fourth. Why? Why have Aston Villa third for you? I think United still won't make it to third this time. I wanted to put United third, uh, and I think Aston Villa just have improved their team like very strategically. They have sold out Diaby who wasn't even playing that well last season. They've got good players in. The manager is sort of very comfortable in that setting. The manager has also played Europe. He knows how to manage like a long schedule. So I think they'll, they're in a stronger position than last year. So are United but I still feel they need some time to really get going. So I'll put them on fourth, Arsenal on second. Top two is not changing for me. 